Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, today, we're going to be reacting to Jesse Lee Peterson brilliantly outsmarts rude guest. Jesse Lee Peterson, Jesse Lee Peterson. This dude is a madman. By the way, I go live Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Central Time on Rumble. If you're watching this right now on YouTube, the link to my Rumble channel is down in the description. Rumble is a better place for creators. There's a lot of great people over there making a lot of good content right now. You got to come check it out. Of course, come check me out first. Link is down in the description. Let's get into it. So you say you do not have a physical leader, right? Correct. So do you think because you're white that you are better at leading your life than a black person or black man or woman would be? No, sir. Then why do you want leaders for black people but not for yourself? There is no such thing as racism. The word racism is a made-up lie and is made up by the children of the lie, the Democratic Party, the liberal media, the black liberal Democrats, um, the uh, black preachers, the right old Republicans. And they made up that word in order to divide and conquer. And it's, it's either oh. right or wrong, good or evil. It has nothing to do with being male or female or nothing to do with color. And so I've been saying that uh, the ch people who believe in God should stop using the language of the okay. of the uh, children of the lie. We need to we need to present: is it right or is it wrong? Is it good or Absolutely. evil? So there is no such thing. So the Democrats and uh, black and white Democrats who are attacking uh, okay. Ben Carson are evil people. Right, but uh, let me ask you this. Uh, it's like uh, when you're cooking for the white man, uh, does it really feel like you're you're like actually making any sort of a statement? You said cooning for the white man. Yes. Are yes, you sir. are you white or black? I'm I'm a white man. You're white. I these white people that are just so desperate to be loved by by black people. They're so obsessed with race. <laughs> Why is it so funny to watch white people attack black people for being conservative? Liberals, not not all, not all, not all, but liberals, they want black people to stay on the mental plantation that says that the world is racist, that they are oppressed, and that if you step outside of that then you are a racist and you're a he called him he said he's cooning for the white man hey what's up mindset what's up zach let's get this video to 100 likes let's fucking go yeah guys that'd be awesome please like the video please follow the channel too i'm trying to get to 5,000 likes by the end of the year um it's just it's amazing how they're why is the left so desperate to keep black people on on a mental plantation that's crazy. It's like, okay, if when you're white, no one gives a fuck. Like you can vote for Democrat or Republican and it's like, okay, we you did agree or disagree, but it, it's like, whatever. If you're black and you're a Republican, you're looked at as like a traitor to your race, to your skin color. It's so bizarre. And I really hope that black people can break away from this because they really are on a mental plantation. Like slavery is not the same as it used to be, but it's, there's mental slavery in this country. It's it's really sad. Democrats have always been obsessed with race, dude. I know. Like it's 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 to me the least interesting thing about you is your skin color. That's like the least interesting thing about you. White man, and explain cooning for the white man. Um, it, uh, I I believe that you're betraying. And speak. Your, your, uh, Hold on. Hey, Brian, Brian, speak, yes, speak right into the phone and be clear because we definitely want to have you on record. Go ahead. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, so you say you're I a believe, white man, right? I, yes. yes and, sir. I am a white man and I believe that. And what is cooning? Are, what is cooning for the white man? Cooning for the white man means like sticking up for them when, uh, when uh, they're the one who had oppressed your, your folks. You know, you're, uh, I know, I know you, uh, you grew up on a plantation. 
I know you picked cotton, and I know that you thought that uh, you haven't lived until you picked cotton. And, and uh, I respect that, but at the same time, I feel you're doing a disservice to your own people. And I just wanted to ask if that's like something that's uh, a legitimate concern to you or what you think about it. And who are my own people? Just for the record, who are my people? African-American folks. Oh, yeah. Okay, two things. There's two things wrong. These people are, are so stupid. There's two things wrong with what this guy's saying. Number one, they're not African-American. I have news for you. If you're born in this country, you're American. I don't care if you're black, brown, yellow, pink, green. I don't give a fuck. You're American. There's no such thing. If you're born in this country and you're black, you're not African-American. Period. End of story. You're black. You're black American. You're American. You're not African-American. Just fucking deal with it, black people. Now, if you want to, if you want to give up your citizenship and you want to go back to, if you want to not back, if you want to go to Africa and get a somehow dual citizenship, fine. I'll call you African-American. I'm not calling black people born here. African-American not happening. Number two, this thing, when he says your people, what does that mean? What does that mean? We're all individuals. We're all individuals. Like my neighbors who are white, they're not my people. Like these people are so obsessed with the the amount of melanin in someone's skin. These people are the most racist people on earth. They're so racist. Yeah. And why do you say that? Because you're African American and I'm not African American. That's not true. No, no. Okay. Oh, what, what, what were you then? I'm um, an American. Oh. Well, I'm not from here. Africa. I'm from Alabama, USA. But hold on. This is so good. I wanted white people to call me up and say I'm cooning for the whites. Let me go quickly back to Brian, a first-time caller out of Maryland, who says that he's a white man. And he said I'm cooning for uh, the black, I mean, for, for white people, and I should be cooning for my own people. What do you say? Cooning for my own people. And he said, African-American. I told him that. Brian, I said to you, I'm not an African-American. Do you accept that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I accept that. And, I, I want I to ask you just... No, but let me, uh, let me okay, just well, ask, what am I um, uh, saying to blacks and whites and others that are wrong? Well, uh, what I believe is uh, your, what you're saying is wrong is that uh, you're, you're saying that you, you know, the hey Brian, yeah, Brian, the, speak right into the phone a little louder. You're going <laughs> in and out. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, the black folks of this country, you seem to be talking down to and saying that uh, they don't, you know, they're a lot of them are mentally retarded. <laughs> I, was, I was watching some of your interviews <laughs> before, and I, and I saw that. So uh, most black people look to leaders to tell them how to vote, how to think, whether work or not. They say that the white yes, man sir. hate them. And, and so um, is it retarded or is it <laughs> retardation when you look to another human being to lead you in the way you should think, act, and be? Is that retarded, retardation? <laughs> uh, 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 I don't think so, but if I could ask... Oh, you hold on a minute. Question. Come back to the phone. I really want people to hear you because you muffled. You say you don't believe that's a sign of retardation? <laughs> no, sir. I was to ask you a direct question. Do you have a leader? Uh, my leader is myself. I, I don't think that I'm uh, a capable thinker. Uh, you yeah, know what, Brian? Bad. Brian, listen, you must stop being muffled because you're going in and out, and I'm not, we're not hearing what you're saying. So you say you do not have a physical leader, right? Correct. So do you think because you're white that you are better at leading your life than a black person or a black man or woman would be? No, sir. Then why do you want leaders for black people but not for yourself? <laughs> um, well, I, just, I would like to ask you a, a question. Well, answer I that, could, and sir. then I will let you. I will allow you to ask me a question, but answer that first. Why do you, why do you think <laughs> you're more capable of leading your own life Whereas the average black man or woman cannot lead their lives. 
Well, I believe that the average, uh, I, I believe that the, the African Americans are, of, the, of today uh, had, could use some encouragement from upstanding people like Dr. Martin Luther King or even, <laughs> you know. It, it's so racist. These people don't even realize how racist they are. <laughs> like, okay, are there any black people in the chat? Like, do you feel like you need, like, aren't you a, aren't you guys just your own person? Like, can you just go get jobs and, and get IDs and vote? Like, you don't need help from leaders, right? Isn't this like, so like the left treats black people like they're stupid. They treat them like they're children. The left in this country, they treat black people like they can't live. They can't do it on their own. Pardon me if I think black people are capable enough to do it on their own. If, how, but, but they'll say I'm racist because I think a black person sh can do it on their own. You're not answering my question. Why is it that you as a white man can lead your own life, but you don't believe that blacks are capable of leading their own life? They need leaders. Why do you... Why do you oh, look down? Oh. Why do you look down on blacks in that way? Oh, I don't look down on on, well, on, 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 on blacks. That why way. do you I, think they're not? They should not be allowed or not capable of leading their own life. They need someone else. No, I believe that they 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 should be able to lead their own life. I believe that any 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 uh sentient. But they can't because the system is holding them back. That I guarantee that's where this is going human being should be able to lead their own life. Then why but, are you offering them Martin Luther King and others then? Because I, you know, you have leaders. Uh, we've all had leaders. Uh, you said you no, don't have a leader. Them. I don't have a leader. Why do they no, need a leader? Well, nobody needs a leader, but a leader can help to but, decide but, to people and get them. Do you the have right a leader helping you lead your life? Uh, I I fall I live my life by the uh, the the code of of my family uh, my uh, my grandfather. Well, why uh, so can't you? Way, yes, why can't black? Why can't black people do the same thing then? Of course they can. Of but, course they. Can. But that's not what you're recommending. You're recommending Martin Luther King and other leaders. No, I was I, was, I that was an example is what I was saying. Do you hate black people. You don't respect them. You think they're <laughs> retarded too. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's 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 untrue. That's that's unfair. If it wasn't true, you would be offering them what you do, <laughs> because the way you're doing it is the right and best way. But you're offering them. Jesse's right, by the way. This idea that we have to like do special things for black people to have opportunities—it's complete nonsense. If we want to, if we want the world to move forward and actually these progressives. If we want them, if we want actual progression, we got to stop treating people like they're children. We got to stop pretending like they need help. It's like get just they need to do, people just need to shut the fuck up and mind their own business. That that's what it really boils down to. Black people are more than capable of 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 getting themselves out of any situation. Look, I was born in abject poverty. I was in child protective services at three years old, two or three years old. My earliest memory on earth was me being dragged out from underneath a chair and being taken into child protective services. I was in a foster home. My life turned out okay. So miss me with all this white privilege, black people need fucking help bullshit. I think we're, we're, we're sick of it. We're, I'm sick of this narrative. Everybody's sick of this narrative. Black people, you should be sick of this narrative too. Martin Luther King and others. Okay. All right. Oh, uh, that that is fair, and uh, I did answer your question. So may I ask you a question? Yes. Okay. You were talking about uh, the lack of family and things of that nature. I, I I understand you've never been married, but you do have a child. Yes, I right? have. I have one son that unfortunately I had out of wedlock when I was nineteen. Right. Right. But it, I but I've seen in some of your prior work, sir, that you, you know you've had. You've, uh, you <clears throat> condemn uh, a lot of black folk for having children out of wedlock when you yourself have done so. Have, 
have you ever considered the hypocrisy in that? Or no, not at all. Not at all. Good question. When I, uh, when my son was born out of wet law, I did not want that to happen because I knew what it had done for me, had done for me not to have my father in my life and my mother together. Uh, even though my mother got married before I was born so that I would not be born out of wedlock. Um, so I tried to get married. Well, what happened, I, I came to California to prepare. So when my girlfriend finished high school, she could come out here, but her mother made her get married because she was pregnant. And so it didn't work out very well. She, she made her get married to someone else. And so I've not done that. I've not done that again because I realize it's wrong. It's evil to have children out of wedlock. Yes, sir. But you can understand the hypocrisy. There is no hypocrisy. If I wasn't admitting that I was wrong, there would be hypocrisy. Hey, Brian? Yes, sir. So do you agree, had I kept doing that, not realizing that I was wrong, kept making babies out of wedlock, uh, then, and then we're correcting others who did it. Would that be hypocrisy? Uh, what, I, I believe that the, the, the answer is a little bit more complicated than that, if I could explain. You, you believe that hypocrisy is a little bit more complicated than that? I would like to explain, explain my, uh, my answer if, go, I, if yeah, I could. Go ahead. Um, what I believe is that... The, you're, if you're talking, uh, you're judging other people for things that you have done. I believe that they they deserve some leniency as well and forgiveness for if they make the same same mistakes that you have made. Because you know you are imperfect, just like every other of God's creation. So, yeah, if you have to be given <laughs> leniency, then I believe that you know others should be given that same leniency. What do you say to that? Well, first of all, I, I don't hold it against them. I'm not judging them. Um, I, I discern that what they're doing is wrong. And that's why when I did it, I realized it was wrong, and I did not do it anymore. Uh, so yes, I'm sir. not judging them, but I am pointing out that they are wrong for doing it, and especially with the government taking care of them. And <laughs> This guy, even though he's made bad points, the caller— He's he's at least he's at least a, he's as he seems well mannered. That's good. And liberal whites, the children of Satan, and liberal <laughs> blacks, who are the children of Satan, don't want black people to stop having babies out of wetlock. They want them to be in this condition so that they can feel better about themselves and use blacks for their personal gain. I mean, listen, I think Jesse's actually completely right right there. I think that. There's a lot of, like I said earlier, they want to keep black people on the mental plantation. They want to keep them voting Democrat. They want to make them feel like conservatives are racist and that the society is out to hold them back. It's the white man this. It's the white man that. And um, it's just, it's it's nonsense. Like, we, we got to get past this. Like, we need to move past this idea that, that black people in this country in 2024 are oppressed. Like, it's silly. And the fact that we're still having these conversations, it's 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 embarrassing. Anyways, let me guys know what you think down in the comment section. If you're watching this on YouTube, come find me on Rumble. We're having a lot of fun over here.